With college classes back in session, K through 12 students are also returning to school this week, and parents have a lot on their minds. The shift away from pandemic era restrictions, the rise in mass shootings, bringing school security again into the concerns, and new curriculum that sparked controversy and even protests, creating anxiety for some. Melissa Rose Cooper spoke with families as they prepare for the new school year and the issues at the top of their worries. The unofficial start of fall is here, and that means kids around New Jersey are gearing up to head back to class. I'm really excited to go back to school because summer has slowed down. Veda Maliala is starting eighth grade, and after facing a number of learning challenges in the last two years because of the pandemic, her father is also excited to see her go back as long as she is safe. I know that we've become a little bit complacent as far as COVID is concerned and, uh, you know, we see the cases rising, but, you know, I, I just hope that, uh, you know, that they're going to take that into consideration. Uh, I, I think that it's been hard on, on the kids for the last two years. A hardship that also highlighted the significance of making sure mental health services are available for children. There's always been need, but the pandemic absolutely made it more essential, right? Because of the, the isolation that students, that all people felt really, but our students felt during the pandemic um, and the lockdowns that we had to do in online schooling um, really brought a lot more to the forefront. Right. And we can't ignore that. We need to help our kids, you know, get better and get back to um, I, I'm a resident to say normal, but back to, you know, being able to connect with others and feel healthy and secure about themselves. Because going out of the pandemic, you'd, you'd think that a lot of people would would expect that now we're out of the pandemic. So it's going to be a lot easier on us and the mental health levels should be going back up. But that's not the case. High school senior Adnan Al-Khalili has had his own struggles with mental health. After getting therapy to help him with his feelings, he created Free the Bird so he could help other kids get the help they need. What I found through my own observation is that the solution is talking about your mental health. Hence the name Free the Bird because when, it, when you talk about your mental health, it's like freeing yourself from a cage. So what we really need for youth and students especially is to start the conversation around mental health and get more people talking about it with each other, with their peers, um, with their teachers, you know, as a school, as a whole, as a whole community. With the recent mass shootings in Uvalde, Texas, making sure students know what to do in the event of an emergency is also key to keeping them safe. That's why Habiba Johnson Hafiz is relieved to know schools are stepping up security. Our school here in Jersey City held a lot of uh, fire drills, um, active shooter drills, all sorts of safety protocols that are in place at their public school that they go to. She is, however, a little disappointed that her four children will no longer have access to free meals at school, something she says has been a big help with the rise of inflation. Four children and breakfast is, I think, around $2 and lunch is around $3, so $5 a day times four, you know, that adds up over the cost, over the, the length of the entire school year. So hopefully, you know, that's just something that, um, that you know, can, can be looked at um, with the legislator in New Jersey, and that's a bill that can be passed. And, you know, the students can, our, our students can, can go back to having access to, um, to those lunches, um, like I said, so that that way we can save money and use it towards other things. So as kids pack up their backpacks for the first day of school, even though COVID fears have lessened, it seems there are still plenty of classroom concerns for parents to worry about. Parents being parents. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.